engraving an exact copy of or an express image of. And all of a sudden, here these three words fitting together in the word mark, but here is a here is a an, an image of you, a picture of you, and engraving the fingerprint data is multidimensional in the in the in the fingerprints. The fact that depth of the of the fingerprint itself, very sophisticated laser scan that that does this, and so what you have is really an engraving there. And so as this fits then with with the Greek, we see a lot of things coming together. Now, one of the things and, and, uh, that, that they fought me on, when they talked about a, a, a battery source or a powered source, uh, they wanted to use lithium, and I didn't want lithium used and I, because of some side effects of lithium, if pure lithium is, is in there, I, that I felt were there. And if this thing got crushed, and man can get his hand crushed or something like this, mm -hmm. Again, you have to look at this. At the time, I was looking at it not from a Christian perspective, right. but I was looking at it from the perspective of uh, here we had a project. Nobody wanted there. I'm sure that the the man who engineered the uh, silicon breast implants is right now doesn't want his name mentioned anyplace. Well, here we had. I didn't want to have something that was going to be intrusive in the human body that was going to fail. Right. And so I fought the lithium. I didn't understand why at the time that they overruled me and they went on with it anyway. But I understood when I looked at Scripture. You see, in Revelation 16, verse 2, uh, I had called a, a, a doctor at the Boston Medical Center that I respect very much, and uh, he was an atheist. I said, uh, I said, can you tell me uh, what will happen with that little amount of pure lithium being dumped in? He said, well, you'd get a, a blankety-blank sore. I said, well, what kind of sore? He said, like a boil, a grievous sore. And I, and I, I looked at this verse of Scripture. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast mm. and upon them which worshipped his image. Mm. And I said, and then that sore, that's singular. I, I looked it up, it's, it's singular. And so as we begin to look at this then, uh, we see now the, the pushing towards targeted areas children uh, they've talked about now they want womb to tomb identification uh, right now uh, children receive social security number and this type of thing within a couple hours of birth and and their their footprints and fingerprints are taken and this type of thing but uh, pointing towards this womb to tomb identification uh, the interesting thing is that uh, you know uh, you won't be able to hide your age cosmetically because uh, the chip will give you away, you know, and, and that type of thing. The main thing we're, we're doing, uh, we, we share, by the way, uh, Pastor, seven signs of the last days. This is just one part of it. Uh, by the way, did you know that we have a unit that we can speak into now in one language and broadcast in 164 no languages kidding. and dialects? Uh, IBM has touted it as undoing the Babel effect. They ran a full-page ad in Wall Street hmm. Journal and said, we are undoing the <coughs> Babel effect. Uh, the EC poster has the Tower of Babel on it with a construction crane sitting on it. This is the European Common Market poster we are undoing. They're well aware of Scripture. They're well aware of what's going on in the Bible. Hmm. And they're looking now at a uh, the slow move. I think as Christian, you know, Jesus was a man of sorrows, but he was not a man of despair. And Christians ought not to be in despair. This is the most exciting time you could ever live. And uh, it's exciting because you can go out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with one more person. And uh, that's what it's all about. Well, what did you, when, when he talks about not taking the mark of the beast, it seems as though there's some religious identification there too, though. I mean, in that by taking it, I'm buying into a religious system that is an anti-Christian religious system. So we've got the technology. Do yes. we anticipate that in the future there's going to be some religious connection this one world government will make? Or, uh, well, I, I believe as they look at how to how to implement this, uh, Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare here a while back said on a talk show said that uh, uh, we have 500 million dollars in welfare fraud every quarter. We need to we need to get rid of that. Uh, we need and and they asked him how and and uh, the statement was made well. Uh, electronic media under the skin will certainly identify the people with positive identification uh, we'll have this I believe uh, 
yes, Pastor, it's, it's the selling out to a system. It's it's the mark and worshiping the the, the system uh, that it goes to. And, and I think that, uh, you know, uh, this country is unique. It's different. It's founded on godly principles, built on godly principles. And uh, God's people need to need to stand up and take it back. Which so is you're doing what God it, would have us it, do. It sounds as though we as Christians, when we see this taking place, need to really not become involved in this kind of an identification technique. I mean, is that yes? You're, you're, we're, you're we're saying, saying that. that very definitely. Uh, like I say, I've been in those meetings in Luxembourg. I understand what 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 they're they're looking at doing, uh, the direction that they want to go. This is not some sinister plot. This is just a thing saying it's going to happen. Uh, we're going on. We have to identify people. You can't. Mm -hmm. You can't uh, handle four billion, five billion people without being able to identify them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the new age is very much on top of this. Uh, a lot of things going on in the new age. Uh, uh, the new age oh, yeah. one world relations. Well, you know, I would guess that a lot of the of our of our viewers, a lot of the people watching the program this morning, will be interested in learning more about this now. You have got a pretty busy speaking uh, schedule while you're up here in the greater yes. Portland area. Exactly where are you going to be so that our viewers, if they'd like to come and, and learn more about because you're just touching the tip of the yeah. iceberg here. Yeah. There's a lot more information you have to share. Yes, a tremendous amount. And uh, But we're at Rock Creek Foursquare. And uh, out on... Uh, and we've okay, got we've a, got the phone number on the screen right well, now. Praise God. It's 654-8887. So if you'd like to... Yeah, hear Dr. Sanders and learn more about this. That's the place. Now, when, you, when will you be speaking there? We'll be there uh, tonight. We're, it's Thursday, Friday, and, and Saturday, so we'll be there tonight and tomorrow night. What time? 7, 7 o'clock. Okay. 7 o'clock, and we share on all the seven signs of the last days, uh, the signs of nature and what Mount St. Helens has shown us, and uh, the signs of society. It says it'll be as it was in, in the days of Noah and as mm -hmm. it was in, in Sodom and Gomorrah. I think we're we're certainly uh, at that at, you know in the, at that point. Now, if people and want to uh, get in touch with you to get more information or to have you speak, uh, we have an address where they can do that too. Right. So if we could put that up on the screen now. Yes. Uh, we just asked them to drop us a card, and uh, and uh, so it's uh, North ninety three thirteen Division uh, Avenue, uh, number one forty. And you're, Street, Spokane, Washington. and you're available to speak at, uh, at, at different places that people can contact you there to, to yes to we uh, to we that. love to come and share the gospel and share the message of, of the last days now are you uh, going besides Rock Creek was there other speaking you're doing while you're up here in Portland we're just finishing in Portland now and we're heading to uh, Olympia Sunday morning we'll be in uh, at uh, Capital Christian and in, in Olympia and uh, then uh, through uh, through Thursday or Wednesday of that week, we're, we'll be at Black Lake uh, Chapel uh, uh, with a combined group of the Capital Christian and uh, Black Lake. So uh, we are uh, we are busy in that area. Then we're over in the Aberdeen area uh, at the Hump Tulips uh, at the, the church there, and and so uh, that's all been advertised. But uh, then we're we've got uh, we're going to be in prophecy conferences back in Minnesota. Uh, we'll be down in uh, San Diego, uh, a lot of travel. But we love to, to uh, be able to hear from the people. We love to be able to come. We like to, to do kind of a three-day thing where we, where we end up uh, like starting out on a Sunday evening and, mm -hmm. and doing three days so that we can cover the sign. So you can I get think. into more detail. Yeah. Yes. Well, it looks uh, like from what you're saying, uh, technologically, the world is ready for Christ to come back. Well, the uh, you know, and I'm excited about that. I hope so. <laughs> the uh, the technology, all of it, is it fits together. You know, uh, they're touting uh, the new Fairchild chip that uh, you, you, the microchip in your car will be able to talk to the microchip in your hand, and you'll be able to. Uh, you won't need a key to open your door or your car; it'll open automatically. And uh, and uh, you know, and I guess I think about the fact that uh, how how quick uh, computer uh, components can break down. And it's that's the dumbest thing you ever saw in your life as a computer with a with a processor bat in it. Uh, it just sits there and looks at you. It isn't good for anything. It doesn't even make a good plant stand. And uh, <laughs> so uh, I think about all these things. And I and I but I think about what God uh, you know what God has, has told us. To. Did you know uh, He talks about uh, why do you consult consult your wizards that peep and mutter? Mm. And, uh, yeah, and those uh, are the wizards. Yeah, they I, peep I and mutter. Say, 